figured I would start the day off with uh, skating. I just got to Silverado, dropped my keys. I just got to Silverado Park. There's a big surprise here. It's wet. Has it been like this the whole time? Or did you just pee all over everything? You gotta, you gotta watch that. Look what John's got on his board. That's that big frog. BMX first skate. You know you don't play. So, I don't think about water anymore. I'll just skate through no matter what. You guys, the park is wet. This is annoying. I don't even know what to do right now. Maybe I'll just do like some flat ground stuff until it fully dries up. Damn it. Oh, then they're probably, uh, seeing it. No one Outside of the place where I live Are so many reasons to I'm not stay gonna know in all. I'm gonna try one Here's one for you guys that have never done before Well I've done it before, you guys haven't seen me done it tricks are sweet so as you can see there still are puddles on the skate park I feel kind of guilty for not powering through it and skating but like I have new wheels and bearings and I do not want to mess them up you can't even you seriously can't really skate like anything though I mean maybe you could skate this front side but you're gonna land here if you're skating it backside and all these puddles yeah. I don't know that's why I'm doing weird tricks because the park has been soaked for the last hour and a half why do you need an excuse to come up with having fun Dale Since the park is wet right now, I figured this would be a good time to show you guys how to do the Nolly wall ride thing that I always do. Oh, zoomed in. Um, yeah, I don't know exactly what it's called. It's just like a wall ride Nolly where you just like wall ride and then you push off with your nose. You push off the wall with your nose. You like Nolly as soon as you're ready to get off the wall. Or it kind of even as soon as you get on the wall too. You just kind of Nolly right off and it just throws you off. It was like super weird for me to learn at first. I didn't get it at all, but once I tried it and watched my friends do it so many times, like it kind of just started to make sense. So hopefully I can explain this well enough so that you guys understand and can go out and learn this. I didn't even really know how to just regular wall ride before I learned how to do this. I just started trying this because it looked easier. And I think it is. I think this can be easier than just learning how to do a regular wall ride. Because a regular wall ride requires all of your wheels to get on the wall. This only requires two, making it a little bit easier. So, first thing you want to do, you want to put your front foot up here in the pocket. And then I put also my back foot in the pocket so that I have control over the entire board when I'm doing this because you know, you're going vertical and that's weird. That's not what you're supposed to be doing. And I kind of just like really lean into like the corner of the situation. Lean really far like out and then kind of keep it very light footed on the front of the board and keep it semi heavy put it back here, a little bit light footed also though. But you just want to be light footed in general because you want to jump up the wall. So yeah, keeping your front foot light footed will give you the ability to ride your nose up the wall. So when you're riding up the wall, it kind of just like reverts like that. And it just like, it'll pop out. It like does it itself. It kind of just works. It just works out that way. Like you really just kind of want to jam into the wall and push yourself up and just shove your front foot off as high as you can. And it'll just naturally want to like gnarly out. You want to like lean away from the wall and just like kind of push out. Come at a little bit of an angle too, maybe like a little less than 45 degrees of an angle. I'll show you. That's about it. 
and I hope that was helpful. I've been meaning to do that for a while, but um, I just figured I'd do it today because the park is like still borderline wet. All the ramps are wet. They'll there's just like puddles on the ground, but yeah, I figured it was the perfect time to do it because I can't really skate the park right now. The hip's actually dry enough to skate, so I'm gonna skate the hip. Hey, John's here guys, uh, did the same thing on his channel. I didn't say hi to him or bye to him. What's that, I'm saying bye to him. What's that, Dale? <laughs> High five my head, my Dale. sweaty head, I know. Do you wanna watch the you breaking the bottle over my head? Yeah. So funny. All right, I'm leaving the park. Um, Jessica and I have to go home and do, do a video tailor today. I'm leaving, John. Peace. Peace? All right, hey, uh, I'll hit you up tomorrow. Holly. Chaboy? Chaboy? Okay, you guys, so a few hours have passed. Um, Jessica and I worked on a video, on our Q&A video that you guys saw the other day. Um, but now I'm driving Uber right now. Did a bunch of stuff at home, like I said, and also the girl that I just picked up, I had to take her to a dealership and she had to get out of the car uh, for a second and go handle some stuff, I don't know. But she has a friend with her. So this guy's just chilling, hanging out with me in my front seat. I always like put my arm up to dogs so let them smell me first to make sure that they're okay to pet and that they don't bite. Oh my god, don't you dare poop. As you can see, it's dark. I'm inside Walmart because I am in the holiday spirit and I want to get some candy. Perfect. One thing that I'm really stoked on is that Skittles are now vegan. Oh my god. Should I get this bag of Skittles? Oh my god. I can go with the Skittles or I can go with the Sour Patch. I'm gonna go with the Skittles. Purchased. I'm gonna make an Oreo contraption. I'm going to mix these birthday cake ones with these cinnamon ones, and I'm gonna make my very own custom Oreo. And there you have it. Chocolate birthday cake cinnamon bun Oreo. I wanna thank you guys for liking, commenting, and subscribing, and watching these videos. I will see you guys tomorrow. You guys are the best. I love you. That was actually really good.